Hey guys, my name is Sanjay Raj. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to make this feedback UI web design. It's actually an inspired web design by Florian Pop, uh, his blog post. So I'll leave a link to it right in the description down below. So the way it works is it suggests three customer support performance emojis. So unhappy, neutral, and satisfied. So when we click on it, it's got a drop shadow kind of thing. So once we click send review, it's gonna say thank you, our name, if we are not green or stuff. So after that, it will give us a paragraph and then you can click done. So it's a basic project and let's get started. Now I'm using Visual Studio Code here. So you guys can use Atom or Sublime Text or anything. So the first thing you want to do, I have the code right here. So it's kind of a long code, so I have it uh, set up. So for the title, I'll say um, Feedback UI. And then I want to link this to the style sheet just like that then first of all we need a div for the panel container and then we, well, first of all we need a strong tag which is going to be this we want it to be bold so we want uh, it's a strong tag sorry strong tag and I'll copy the same thing right inside that and we did not give any class for it so we can leave it just like that Right after that, we also want a div called ratings. Sorry, container which is going to contain these ratings, all these three. So we need also we need a div called rating for the individual ratings. So what we are going to be having there is an image and a text. So img and the source is uh, the link to the image. So I have the links right ready so I'll also leave a link to the project files in the description down below if you want to check it out uh, we also need a small tag saying unhappy also we want to uh, the others are also going to be just similar to this so I will copy this and paste it down I'll say neutral and that is going to be satisfied Mm, we also want to change the uh, links of the image so and change the source right there mm, it's the third one so change the source right here so let's see what we've got so this is what we have without the CSS and this is kind of it but uh, we need a button right after this div so button with a class uh, with a class of sorry sorry guys uh, with a class of btn and with the id of send and inside that button we want to put send review as it's there and uh, let's see how it is yeah so let's get on with the CSS. There's quite a lot CSS to be done. Um, so first of all, I'll put the box sizing to be border box because it makes easier, more easier to align stuff. So getting started with the body, we want the background color to be a uh, quite a little bit kind of an off white. So the hashtag is going to be F E F nine f2 so it's uh kind of like that mm, we also want uh, no i'll just use a color called con silk which i used in my previous tutorial as well the font family uh, i'm going to be using is called monster at so monster at and we'll display the whole thing flex justify content center align item center and we'll give a height it's going to be a max height of 100 ph still there will be like no much difference because it's to the body and we are not targeting anything like in the panel container or anything so we want to give a background a white background um uh, we want the box shadow as well so zero pixels on the top and bottom for the left and right as well but for 10 pixels like for all sides 
uh, which is going to be a RGBA of 0, 0, 0, and 0 0.3 mm, 0 0.3 not seconds then we need a slight border radius border radius of 4 pixels and then we need the font size to be 40 percent then the same thing what we did to the body which is going to be display flex justify content center align item center just like that we've got it like uh, displayed flex but we will actually put it to flex direction column which will uh, align it section uh, column by column so also we want to target the padding of the panel container for around 30 pixels then max width of 400 pixels sorry for 400 pixels and then we put the text align center we also want to target the strong which is going to be the bold one panel container strong with a line height of 20 pixels so it's kind of like not uh, it won't go off that uh, three columns also we want to target the paragraph tag in the panel container now panel tag and the p tag uh, we also want to give a margin of 25 pixels on the top and bottom and zero for the left and right we want to give a line height of 20 pixels then now we go in our, uh, to the ratings container which contains all the ratings which is uh, those uh, emojis so i'll say ratings container this display flex we also want to give a margin for this as well 20 pixels 0 and for the rating we want the cursor to be pointer because uh, these are the ratings the emojis where, uh, which we want to click uh, we put a flex of one for each so it's kind of aligned like that and we want to give a padding of 20 pixels a margin of 10 pixels and 5 pixels on the left and right just like that uh, we will align the flex direction column as we go also for the rating uh, remember we had a hover effect a slight hover effect that's what we want to be do now what are we doing now mm, we want active so dot active which we are going to be using in javascript just to see uh, just to check which is the clicked one and then put a hover effect for that and also we want it to happen when it hover uh, hovers around mm. it to be like that uh, is it like that uh, yeah so right inside we want to put a border radius of 4 pixels and we want to give a box shadow of 0 pixels 0 pixels and 10 pixels which is going to be for the overall section so you want it to be very low low in opacity you can barely see it so we want to target the rating image which the width we are going to make it of 40 pixels a little bit small then what we want to do we want to target the um, btn the button is going to be the send review button so we want the background to be 302 so guys the problem was that uh, in the html i have put rating container and the css i put ratings container so yeah here it works so if we hover over it it will give us that uh, drop shadow also one thing i missed is that we have to uh, add a style of a class sorry a class called active uh, to the third div which is going to be the third one because we want the customers to be satisfied that's the aim of this uh, feedback thing and also now we can go to the javascript where we are going to be getting the click and then do all the stuff the javascript which is going to be pretty short so the first uh, main things that we have to get is the ratings uh, okay ratings 
element and we get it by document dot query selector and we get the rating and then we get the send btn which is going to be document dot query selector and we have a id of send or we will just take the button uh, which is dot btn and we have the panel which is going to be the which is this uh, the panel container which is going to be equal to document dot query selector and we will say <coughs> panel container so what we have to do is for each uh, each of the click we want the the current the the clicked event to have a drop shadow so we want the active class to be put in uh, so what we are going to be do doing is we want to add an event list now for the rating uh, for the ratings element mm, so mm, element which is going to be the click and in that uh, for so this is the click so for the click we want to add a uh, so sorry we're going to be a for each so if you guys are not familiar with the for each function the way it works is ratings element dot for each of the element um, we want to do an arrow function so for each of it we want to add an event listener we want to add an event listener we want to listen for a click and when there is a click we want to get uh, do a function which is going to be for each of this so for each of the uh, I'll do the code and then I'll try to explain it as much as possible mm, for each which I'm going to call inner element sorry uh, inner element we want to remove the class list class list remove if there is a class list of remove we want to remove that class list it's just straightforward and then l dot class list dot add which we want to add is called active so the way this works is for the ratings element which is this we want to listen for a click so once the person clicks we are clicks we are going to be removing the active class which is this and add it to this class um, so now it's not working it's not working until now uh, I think that's because we did not link uh, the script which I always forget mm, so if I click on a specific thing is, uh, we wanna get all of the uh, documents so that was a problem so if we don't select everything it cannot do a for each loop because uh, like for all three of them we wanna listen for a click mm. so the way it works is we're listening for each click and then when we click on something when we click on something the drop shadow will be applied to that and then will be removed from the other ones so that's what happens and right after that mm, we want to listen for a click uh, of the send btn which is this so once we click on that we want it to be greeted with another uh, another form kind of like a ui mm. put an arrow function there so we want the panel dot inner html I don't know why this is not working oh, okay I should put a command there so I will put panel dot inner html I want to put those stuff right below the escape button we want to click on that um, I want to put a the wrong tag saying uh, thank you 
and then we want to uh, get a p tag paragraph tag uh, i'll just put hello so guys as you guys can see uh, if we hover over it you can see the drop shadow when we click on send review it's gonna say thank you and hello that's about for the video guys hope you guys enjoy i put a lot of work into making this video hope you guys like it uh, click on the subscribe button for more videos and click on the like if you like this video i'll see you guys next time